in East Africa. Kenyans still do not know who their next president will be more than 50 hours after polls closed. Election head Wafula Chebukati has urged people to be patient and not to panic. That local media houses are releasing differing tallies. Each organization is making its own calculations based on the manual entry of data from more than 46,000 polling stations. But it is only the Electoral Commission that can declare the winner. The media's tallies show that the two leading candidates, Ryla Odinga and William Ruto, are neck and neck. Well, for the very latest on the Kenyan elections, let's bring in Arise East Africa correspondent Mark Bichachi, who joins me now from Nairobi. Good to see you, Mark. So how is it looking? How close are Kenyans to knowing who their next president will be? Well, uh, thank you so much for having me. The question as to when Kenyans will know who their president will be has two answers. Answer number one is that the uh, media houses are likely to finish their account sometime uh, either tomorrow morning or mid-morning tomorrow. So by the media account, they will know by mid-morning tomorrow. But by the IEBC, which is the official of body counting uh, the results of the election, it is expected that they will do so earlier Saturday, but most probably Sunday. This is because the manual uh, 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 accreditation and, and, and confirming of the Form 32s has to happen before they create Form 32 bids and then they're co collated by law. Uh, so the returning officer who happens to be the chair of the electoral body has to actually physically confirm those forms and go through them with the various uh, uh, presidential agents so this will take quite a while so saturday sunday is the, my earliest estimation and uh, looking through various kenyan media sources uh, mark they all have slightly different tallies as we read there in the opening because i suppose they're starting from different places and looking at different results i mean is that confusing for kenyans with people looking at the source which validates their view of the elections i'm wondering how people are reacting to all of that well, it's, it's an interesting thing because uh, we've got about four major news uh, networks that are giving out the tallies, two which have taken the clear lead in terms of uh, the tallying of the results. Now, what is happening is if you flip the channel in one instance, uh, Ruto is leading in the other, Raila is leading, and the flip-flopping is not just on one channel, it is on uh, almost all the channels. Uh, so what that has done is it has given a level of, of anxiety to the country because different people are seeing different results at different uh, times and also the speed of tallying is different according to the stations. So what is happening now is a lot of Kenyans are anxious, but at the same time, there are some who've already started celebrations. For example, at the KICC, we can see a lot of people outside the gate celebrating a win because they expect that uh, uh, Raila Odinga will make his way here uh, once he's been declared the winner. So the celebrations have already started uh, uh, at the Kenyatta International national conference center so uh, what is happening is kenyans have uh, decided uh, for themselves uh, who has won and some are already celebrating others are, are, are feeling the loss but at the end of the day uh, the real results will only be known once the iebc gives uh, the final tally and uh, Mark, the focus has of course been on the presidential election, but there have been some notable results from some of the other races, haven't there? I mean, the Hollywood actress Lupita Nyong'o has been celebrating with her father Anyang Nyong'o, who's won a second term as governor of Kisumu. Yes, yes, indeed. So the governorship races, a lot of them have already been concluded. At my last count, around 35 of them have been done out of 47. And yes, indeed, Lupita Nyong'o's father, Nyang Nyong'o, has retained his position of governor of the county of Kisumu. And this is true for much of the lake region from which Raila Odinga comes from. His ODM party has uh, managed to get a majority of 
gubernatorial seat. The same is true of the Lake region um, and, and other areas. Uh, uh, William Ruto is enjoying a lot of governors and MPs within the Kalenjin um, Rift and within uh, Mount Kenya, which is central Kenya. So this is uh, how the gubernatorial races are framing um, uh, for the country as at now. Uh, and uh, Mark, that MP who we hear is on the run for his alleged involvement in a shooting incident has won his race. How intriguing is that? Well, that's, that's amazing because he shot an agent of the opposing coalition, that's a Zimio coalition to which Raila Odinga belongs. He shot an agent uh, allegedly at point blank um, a range and, and, and it was quite a gruesome uh, murder. He won his election, but the Directorate of Criminal Investigations has issued an alert and asked him to uh, surrender himself voluntarily, uh, but he is indeed on the lam. The authorities are running after him. And of course, this being a capital offense, uh, he might uh, have to lose his position because our constitution says that once you are jailed for a term above six months, you automatically lose uh, your position. So uh, uh, he's on the run. We've not had news of whether he's been found or not, but the police have issued a manhunt for him and asked him to voluntarily, voluntarily uh, um, show himself at the nearest police station. Mark, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Mark Bichachi is a RISE East Africa correspondent, and he was talking to me that from uh, Nairobi in Kenya. Nairobi.